what are the limitations of generative AI. There is no doubt that uh, generative AI is revolutionary, but uh, there are quite a few limitations to it right now. And now we'll discuss them one by one. The very first one is biasness. The AI is trained on vast amounts of text data and this data could be biased towards a specific race, gender or some sensitive issues. And when AI is trained on such biased content, it will further create content that contains the bias. This becomes a huge problem as AI will spread biases that have existed in our society before. Next limitation is privacy concerns. Generative AI can be used to create deep fake content. This includes fake images and videos and uh, this can affect an individual's privacy and reputation. Not just that, Generative AI can also lead to spread of misinformation. Gen AI can create realistic looking text and uh, media which may not be true. This fake news has the potential for spreading misinformation among people. Gen AI can also be used to forge identities, making it a potential tool for identity theft and fraud. Moreover, generative AI can be used uh, to create deceptive content by someone with ill intent. Things such as fake reviews, emails or social media posts with the intent to deceive or defraud can be created easily with Gen AI. Gen AI also leads to uh, legal and copyright issues uh, determining the legal ownership and copyright of generated uh, uh, content by AI can be tough. So this can lead to legal disputes and challenges. The next is psychological impact. The use of Gen AI is creating content for entertainment or social interaction may have an impact on human psychology. People may not always distinguish between AI generated and human generated content and trust something that is not true. This can have uh, an impact uh, on human psychologically and which is a negative impact. The final limitation is accountability. Establishing accountability for content generated by AI is challenging. When harmful or problematic content is created, it can be unclear who should be held responsible for it. 